a low random person who I assume is both intelligent and good looking. What is up guys, Rick Kakis here going over the Grog Nozzle, a new unique weapon in Borderlands 2 and this weapon is been called the best gun of the game and we're going to get into why that could actually be true. Um, firstly, this gun is a unique weapon but it's actually a quest gun, it isn't a quest reward. So um, this, it's a like a mission gun, basically very similar to, if you can remember, the original Borderlands campaign with Doc Mercy when you were sent to go kill him and you were given an E-Tech gun, um, base, and then you could kill bandits and stuff with it, but then as soon as you beat the mission, you lost that gun. The same thing is with this. So the quest is the beard makes the man. That's the quest you need to be on to have this gun. And again, Basically, just get in this quest and don't complete it, and then you'll have this gun. Um, there's some problems that come with this. For example, it's uh, I I just you know did the quest and got the gun, so I don't know. But reading up on it, apparently there's some problems with giving it to friends, and it, it'll get you know it'll disappear if you're not on the quest. And uh, if you have a version somehow of it, and then you start the quest, it'll be replaced by the version the quest gives you and there's a whole bunch of stuff like that so basically the easiest way to get it is just start the quest you can basically um, get the quest right after you go to Claptrap for the main storyline mission of the new DLC so it's very easy to get and then you just again don't complete any of the quest objectives forget about the quest and you'll just have this gun An advantage of this gun being a mission weapon is that it actually doesn't take up an inventory slot um, it just is there and again it doesn't take up an inventory slot which is pretty awesome so the effects of this gun and why this gun is considered one of the best guns in the game um, firstly its chance to slag is insane almost 50% um, also it heals you just like Miss, Mos Miss Moxie's ruby um, where uh, the ruby would heal you for about 12% of the damage done this heals you for about 65% which is pretty insane um, also uh, one of the things, uh, except for, no, sorry, uh, it's definitely, although it does heal you for 65, it doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as the ruby, so that, that kind of nerfs it in some respect. Now, the main interesting thing about this gun is that it gets you drunk, and what being drunk in the game is, is that you'll you'll notice it because your screen will start to, you know, tip side to side, you'll start to have a wobbly screen. And the effect of this is your gun, its fire rate will slow down dramatically. So if you're shooting like a hellfire, and you're shooting and it's just, you know, going full auto, and then you were to get drunk, basically your full auto hellfire will start shooting like boom, 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 only about that fast. But each time it shoots, it's going to shoot six shots. So instead of shooting one shot, shoot six. And those six, it's not any extra ammo, so it only takes up one ammo to shoot six bullets. Now this is very important. Like I said though, with a gun that's fully automatic, has a high fire rate, being drunk is a nerf. You don't want it. It's, it still ends up not shooting as much bullets. But for stuff like shotguns, uh, the Unkept Herald, rocket launchers, sniper rifles, shooting six shots at once can be very advantageous. So, uh, the best, you'll see me kind of use this gun and it's not, the, the, by the itself, this gun sucks. It does nowhere near enough damage. You'll have to be picking away at an enemy for years before you kill him. Um, but basically, this is a gun zerker's wet dream. This gun, combined with basically any other gun, because it, it slags, like 50% chance of slag, so it's always slagging, guys. Um, you're going to be shooting, you're going to be, again, slagging everyone with this, and then having another gun that uh, can play off the slag and become way more powerful. Plus, the ability to suddenly start to fire six shots. So if your gun's working with this and then a shotgun, uh, suddenly your shotgun is gonna be firing six times at once. And that's insane. You'll see me using the double penetrating Unkept Herald. And the uh, Unkept Herald is a really good combination with this if you're gun zerking. And if you're uh, saying there, oh, I don't have the Unkept Herald, watch the video uh, that I made called How to Get Free Tor Guns, 
very easy and it's the exact same method I used to get my double penetrating unkept herald. Um, so basically, another thing is, and I've read on the wiki that this is something you can do. Uh, I haven't done it myself, so it's not, if you can't, uh, I'm not sure, I just, I've read it, is that the shooting six things at once, imagine if you had a Nukem or a, uh, a Norfleet, that's where it becomes incredible. So basically, players that aren't Gunzerkers. So again, you can see how powerful this is for the Gunzerker, being able to slag people almost instantaneously and being able to suddenly shoot six shots. But if you're not a Gunzerker, you're probably like, okay, well, how do I use this gun? Basically, what people seem to be using it for is they'll shoot, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll switch to it every once in a while. And then if they start to get drunk, the next gun that they'll switch to, like by pressing Y from switching to this, will be the Nukem or the Norfleet or the Bada Boom or some kind of rocket launcher. And then, then they'll just shoot. So if basically, again, what they'll do, you're shooting a guy with this gun, you suddenly start to, uh, again, you can, and you can kind of be picking away at people trying to get drunk with it because it does regenerate your health. You're not just, you know, shooting a hel helpless gun. You're at least healing. So you're standing there shooting, shooting, and then you'll start to wobble. Then immediately... They'll, you'll press Y because you'll make sure the next gun that switches to after this is your rock launcher. You'll take out a Nukem, you'll shoot, and six Nukem shots will go and destroy everything. Or six Norfleet shots, or six Bada Boom shots. And that's basically like, people are using this as kind of a kill shot. So as soon as they get drunk, they'll press Y, switch to the rock launcher, and shoot. And for the cost of only one shot, shoot six times. And that is just mind-boggling how much damage you can put down. That can, if you have a Norfleet, six shots from a Norfleet can down an, an ultimate badass easily. Like, very easily. And so, the damage you can do as a result of this gun, if you use its properties correctly, is just mind-boggling. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Try out these tactics. I've only tried this as a Gunzerker, so I would be totally interested to try the Nukem uh, and the Norfleet strategy. That's something I'm going to put into play if I get this for my other characters. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good day.